Yo, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy, D-Lord, and welcome back to another episode of our Tampa Bay Buccaneers Madden 21 Connected Franchise Series here in the Premier Madden League. We are here for week five. Yes, we are sitting here with a 3-1 record. We finally took an L last week to the undefeated Los Angeles Chargers, but hopefully we can bounce back taking on the Chicago Bears, a team that is sitting with a 2-2 record. They look great out of the gate, winning their first two games. Then they had a little hiccup in weeks three and four. They're trying to bounce back um, and get a win here also, man. So a very, very important game. You see here in the standings in the NFC South, we are three and one. Falcons only one game behind with a 2-2 two two record. We have not played them this year, so we're not sure, you know, how we stand against Atlanta. So we definitely want to keep a lead there. Then the Saints at 1-3, and three, and the Carolina Panthers at 0-4. Oh looks like they're going to be trying to get Trevor Lawrence or maybe Fields, man. We'll see what ends up happening. But we're going to be taking on the Bears. Before we hop into that game, we did make a pretty big signing, at least in my opinion. We're going to go through, and we're going to show it right now. So, Chris Godwin has been locked up. Four years, $63 million. We got our number two wide receiver. Hopefully, you know, he can continue to make plays for us, and we can have a long-lasting relationship with Chris Godwin, man. And hopefully everything is alright. I know before you guys ask, yes, I don't have my headphones. They decided to break before recording this and it's super late right now. So I can't go nowhere. Maybe Walmart. No, I think Walmart closes now at like 10. So can't go nowhere to buy a headset. So we're going into this game with absolutely no sound. Will that affect anything? I doubt it, but hopefully not. Uh, anyway, looking at the depth chart for the Chicago Bears, man. Seeing with the rock and with them, of course, we got into the game. They got Mr. Trubisky, who just got benched in real life, but he is still the starter here in this franchise. 72 overall. Cordero Patterson is going to be the starting running back at an 80 overall. We'll see if he gets Cohen involved any. At wide receiver, Allen Robinson is going to be a tough guy to try to guard, especially with our corners. Then you have Anthony Miller, Ted Ginn Jr., um, some okay guys. Jimmy Graham. A solid tight end that we're going to have to try to defend. He's 6'7", so you can always throw it up. You have a good left tackle, a good left guard, a good center. Um, right guard definitely is where we're going to want to attack. And then the right tackle is okay. So right side of the line, not as good as the left side of the line, but still all around good offensive line. Um, Akeem Nix, Hicks, excuse me, very, very good left end. We have to watch out for him. Robert Quinn, good um, and then we have Eddie Goldman. So they have a solid defensive line. Khalil Mack is a guy, of course, you know we have to watch out for. He is a monster. Um, not much we can do, but to try to slow him down. Roquan Smith, a very good middle linebacker. We have Danny Trevathan at right outside linebacker. So I like what he did with the linebackers there. Kyle Fuller, going to be his number one corner. Um, then they got Jalen Johnson, the rookie. Then you have Buster Scrine. So we'll see how they do. I'm sure Kyle Fuller is probably just going to put on the right side with both of our receivers. I don't see them just shadowing Mike Evans, but we'll pay attention to see how they line him up. Eddie Jackson probably going to do a good job taking away one of our tight ends, either OJ Howard or Gronkowski, depending on the lineup. Um, and Tony Jefferson, another solid safety. So he has a very, very solid team. Um, like I said, they are 2-2 two and two coming into this um, game, I'll say the season, coming into this game. The offensive coordinator has a message. Let's see what it is, man. It's a Thursday night game. Yes, we're going to prioritize rest. Make sure our guys are nice and healthy and, and prepared for this game, man. So I don't think there's not very much left to do. So we'll go ahead once again. I will show you guys the keys to victory video, and then we'll hop straight into the game. Um, getting right to the first game, we have the Buccaneers versus the Bears. And I got to say, oh, those Buccaneers, you can go back and pull them. People love, people love to point out, oh, I proved you wrong, keys to victory. Oh, I did this, I did that. But they don't say shit. I get it right. They don't say it. And I said, hey, hey, that's my boy. That's my boy there, D-Lord. But I said, D-Lord is going to get exposed. And D-Lord got exposed. 48 to 24 to the cheat up to the charges. <laughs> hey, folks, any get upset. D-Lord got exposed. Uh, they were, I mean, nothing looked good. Offense, defense, and Boy, he, he, he went quickly from a top-ranked offense and defense down. Look at those categories that dropped after that one game. Man, boy, so I think I think this week he'll definitely have an easier time 
going against Noble. Noble has had a disappointing start to the season, but as they say, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. But I'm not sure. Uh, this is going to be a game. Good game. It's, it's so hard to call in this one. Noble's not playing well. I think Deloitte is playing well. He just ran into a better team, better coach. Uh, well, better coach for sure. But, I, you know, Noble is Noble fake news at this point. We know he had a weak division last year. We know he had a top team in a weak division. Having a mediocre team in a good division, is that too much for him to overcome? I did this game go either way. This one is tough to call. I know for both of these, the most important thing, Deloitte needs to be consistent. I saw some amazing drives by Deloitte, then I saw some awful drives by Deloitte. Consistency is the key for this Buccaneers team because they have the talent to get it done. Um, on, on the Bears end, let's take a look at some of these. Uh, this is this is really, you know, I guess 10th attack passing is not bad, uh, but I know he's having major problems with Trubisky. You got to figure out the quarterback situation. You know, if you have to go out and, and trade for a guy, um, if, if Trubisky is not your guy, you have to move on from him quickly. There's no point hanging on to him if you're not going to develop, develop it. Or you got to put, like I said, Noble seems like he's anti-content. You don't have a top team with full of talent this year, bro. You know, you don't have, you know, three, four receivers already starting out that's going to be good. Like, you, you, this, this is more of a, 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 a salary cap issue, a build team. You're not going to come in and not do any talent and win with these Chicago Bears. I'm just telling you that right now. So, he's playing well on defense end, but he has to get, get he has to do whatever he has to do to get Trubisky going. And I think that's that's making things, sim simplify things for the quarterbacks to keep for the Bears in this one. But this game can go over, okay, I mean, this is a huge game for the Bears. They drop to this game and go to two and three. That's going to be tough in that division. So, I think, I think the Buccaneers will bounce back uh, and the Bears will continue to disappoint. Moving on to the next week, we have the Panthers and the... All right, fellas, so here we go. First play from, from scrimmage, and we got our guy, Strubler, in the game. So let's see what we can do here. We're actually throwing the football. And first play, man. We throw an interception. That is not, that is not how we want to start the game. All right, so here we go. We now are on defense. They're starting at the 40-yard line. They go with a draw, and Cordero Patterson gets a nice game. Slip screen, and he's going to get the first down. We get the tackle. It doesn't get far, but he does move the chain. Oh, he forces the fumble. Did we get, we get it back? Let's go. Let's go, man. What? What? Yo, it said a fumble recovery. It said we got a fumble recovery. All right, man. Here we go. All right, so here we go. Third and four. Can we hold them to a field goal attempt? Nope. They're going to get the first down. Maybe not. Did we stop them? It's fourth and inches. Wow, so they have a decision to make. We did stop them. What would they do? Would they kick the field goal? Seems like they might go for it the way they are waiting, so we'll prepare for them to go for it on fourth down. And they get in the end zone on fourth down. We were manned up, but we just got blocked on that bubble screen. And we go down 7-0 early. Alright, man. So we're out here. We got Tom Brady in the game now. We're not trying to get too fancy. Here we go, Mike Evans. Way to make that grab, baby. Oh, whoa. What was that, Brady? Nice. Right, third and seven. Let's see what we have here. Here we go. We got Chris Godwin. Is he going to score? Yes, sir. Touchdown, Chris Godwin. So we gave up the touchdown because we felt like throwing an interception on the first play. But at least we get the touchdown back. And Cordero Patterson. What a catch. Oh, that was a nice one. But he fumbles it. They get it back. Two fumbles. <laughs> Two times we couldn't get the recovery. Here we go second and seven. Let's go. We get to the quarterback. Third down. Get him off the field, baby. Out of the gun, 
And let's go. Let's go. The wind should be against them. So they might go for it here. They're going to punt it. All right, not a bad decision. Here we go. We got Leonard Fournette making the catch. Get out of bounds. Nice and safe. Move with the chains. Khalil Mack just blew that block up, man. <laughs> Absolutely blew that up. Let's see what he does. Oh, we have Mike Evans. There it is. We probably could have had, got a rat catch there, but we'll just get the catch go down. Goldman is hurt, so that might help us there too. There we go. Howard, let's go. Way to hold on to that. Second and seven. There it is. Let's go. What a catch. Oh, he's a yard short. I thought we were in the end zone right there, baby. There he goes. First and goal. Leonard Fournette. And is he in there? Touchdown. Let's go, man. 14-7. Let's go. Way to get the sack. Ndamukong Sue. I think that's his first sack of the season. It's a big one. Now it's going to be third and nine. So he knows we're manned up. That, that was great coverage, man. Unbelievable catch. It's a great throw to Jimmy Graham. Great, great read right there. We got to tighten up on D now. So, ah, they get it first. All right, third and six. It's a big play here. Could we hold on to a field goal? Ah, great throw, and he finds Jimmy Graham. Touchdown. Corner of the end zone, man. What a throw by Trubisky. There we go, OJ Howard. Way to make that catch. Great tackle right there. Here we go. Look at that. Ronald Jones, what a run. Picking up the first down. Mm, that did not work at all. All right, so it's third and 14. We're going to just run this up the gut. Get whatever we can get. We can't even get anything because Khalil Mack's coming off the edge. So they'll call a timeout. We're going to have to punt it. What a punt. There it is. Let's go. And we are going to down them at the three. So a long drive ahead for them. Oh, big hit right there. Oh, did we get beat deep? No, no, no. We got beat deep. We got beat deep, man, on third down. Pick that off, Winfield. Let's go. Antoine Winfield, he hasn't had an interception in, what, two games now? But he comes back. With his sixth of the season and a very big one because that stops them from getting points. All right, so here we go. Start of the second half. They go with a counter. Great blocking right away. And look at this. <laughs> look at that run by Kadero Patterson. That was a fumble again. And they pick it up. We have forced three fumbles and haven't picked up one. Pick that off. Let's go, Levon. Yo, okay. We get the pick. I thought that was Levante Davis' pick to have, man. But we get, <laughs> we get it. So I'm not going to trip too much. But how do you drop that, Levante? How do you drop that? Here we go, Gronk. Let's go, baby. First down. Come on, that's a one on one. Go get that pass interference. Down to the one. Nah, that did not work <laughs> at all. He ran right through that gap. Nothing we could do. Right, third and goal. We're looking for the fade. Looking for the fade. And instead, we throw an interception. And I don't know that's not going to be a pick six, man. We throw an interception. Second of the game. Brady's second of the season. That was just a bad turn of events for us. We should have at least got a field goal. We got greedy. And that did not work. Gun, 
Ah, so Vita Vea has an upper arm fracture, man. That's a big loss. He is one of our best players. And here we go, it's third, third and ten. We're using Shaq Barrett. Can we get pressure with him? Haven't really done much here with the defensive line in terms of pressure. Spin move, gets off the guy, catches it. He's short. Fourth and two. Fourth and two. What's he gonna do? And ah, he gets the first down. We got there just a little bit too late. Winfield, let's go Antoine Winfield with his second interception of the day. Who oh, we needed that. This is quickly turning into a defensive battle. Here we go, second five. Run it up the middle, and I think we might be yard short. Third and one, we still wanna run it. And let's go, we get the first down, barely, but we move the chain. Let's go, Fournette. Fournette's biggest run of the day. Brady, can he get him? That's an interference. He just tackled him. He tackled him. That saved a touchdown, though. Here we go. First and goal. Fullback dive. Can we get something? OJ Howard, he is in there. Touchdown. Thank you, man. We finally break this tie. What a catch. And he is gone. We finally get the lead back in Anthony Miller. Wow. Wow, bro. That was just a great play. We were there. We were in position. And we just couldn't do anything about it. All right, so a big down. Third and eight. Let's see what we can do here. Can we get the catch? Let's go. Let's go. Way to make that grab, baby. Here we go. It's third and six. And that's going to be, ooh, it's going to be dropped at that 53 yards in those wins. I don't know if we got it. I'll be honest with you. I don't know if we got it, but we are going to try it. Let's see. And it is good, I think, or short. But it's roughing the kicker, so the drive is going to stay alive. Here we go for net. Let's go, baby. First down. First and goal. We are right there. We got to get in the end zone. We don't want to settle for a field goal here. Here we go. Second and goal. Running the football. And once again, nothing there. We have had like zero success running the ball today. And we got Strebler in the game, but we're going with a toss to the outside. So let's see if we can get some blocks. And we are going to be short. One yard short. One yard short, but I feel like we might want to. Uh, do we just take the field goal or do we go for the six? All right, man, we're going to go for it. Fourth and goal from the one. And let's go. We got it. Chris Godwin, baby, touchdown. Yes, sir, man. That one was risky. Could have went for the field goal, but I wanted. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm tired, bro. I am tired right now. But hey, it worked. All right, so here we go. First and 10 for the Bears. It's a run, and he's able to get to the outside there. Four going out of bounds. That could have been an unnecessary roughness. We're lucky nothing was called. Oh, let's go. We get the interception. Big interception right there, baby. He was a little late on the RPO. Davis, his second pick of the day. We got to take care of the ball and make sure we at least get a field goal out of this attempt, out of this possession. There we go. Leonard Fournette getting the first down, down to the 21. We'll take that, Fournette. And let's go. Way to fall forward, first down. Get in the end zone for net. Oh, he couldn't lower the shoulder enough. And he's hurt, which stops the clock. 
And we are short. Ronald Jones couldn't get in. An abdominal tear. So Fournette's not coming back either, man. That's a pretty big injury. Even though he didn't play good today, it's still a pretty big injury. Here we go. We're going to keep it on the ground just to keep the clock running. We don't get in, but we do get in. Ronald Jones, touchdown. That gives us the separation we needed. We just have to make sure it's not a quick score if he does score. So here we go, man. 254 left in the game. See if we can get pressure with Barrett. We get pressure, but they complete the pass. Oh, there we go, second and ten. Slant makes the tackle, though. Yeah, I think we do a pretty good job. And we get the sack. Let's go. Pierre Paul, man, it's going to be fourth and 15 coming out of the two-minute warning. I think we do a good job. And he has to get rid of it. And it's going to be caught. But he is going to be short. And that should be the game unless he calls a timeout, which we'll run the ball, see what he does. If he doesn't call a timeout, that could be the game, man. That's a heck of a win. A heck of a win if he's not going to call a timeout, then we'll come out and take a knee, man. But he's not out of it, so we'll see what he does. And he brought everybody, and timeouts are being taken, so it's not over. All right, so it's third and 11. We're coming out in Wildcat here. He knows we're running the ball. He's going to use his timeout. But we're going to go ahead and get to the outside. And McCoy. All right. He gets some yards back. They used their last timeout. I mean, did we make the field goal from here last time? I feel like we could have. We'll try it again. 53 yards. Why not? Why not try it if we don't get it? I mean, they get the ball in great position. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do we have the leg for it? And uh, we got it. Let's go. 38-21, making it a three-score game. And that should be it. All right, so 38-21 was the final score. They outgained us when it comes to total yards of offense, 416-330. to um, They turned the ball over more than us, five turnovers for them. We had two, which is kind of uncharacteristic for us so far this season. But we did come on strong, putting up 17 in that fourth quarter. Um, Trubisky, 24 for 35, 377, three touchdowns, four picks. Brady, 20 for 27, 258, two touchdowns. He did throw a pick, which he only threw one interception coming into this game this season. He threw one here, but obviously um, he still has been phenomenal this season. Chris Traveler, he threw an interception. So technically, we threw more interceptions this game than we have all season. Um, Leonard Fournette, we have to see how long he's out for. He did nothing. 16 carries, 34 yards. Oh, he got a touchdown, but only 2.1 yards per carry. Ronald Jones wasn't much better. I mean, we were consistent. We gave them the ball a lot. Just nobody did anything. Cadell Patterson had a heck of a day. Anthony Miller, dude was a beast out there, man. Seven catches, um, 134 yards, two touchdowns. Allen Robinson had a good day. Ted Ginn had a good day. Uh, for our receivers, though, Leonard Fournette did lead us with receptions in terms of how many. Chris Godwin, though, definitely had one heck of a game. Five catches, 76 yards, two touchdowns. So that contract we gave him, definitely worth it. O.J. Howard had three um, catches, 40 yards. Evans, only two catches for 39 yards. Um, and then Gronk, only one catch for 11 yards. So couldn't really get anything going there. Antoine Winfield definitely had a great game again. So did Levante David. Really are two guys when it comes to the deep inside of the ball. Shaq Barrett, he had a sack. He had two TFLs, two interceptions from Antoine Winfield. We have to see how long Villa is out. But um, overall, I think we played pretty good. All right, so after the game, somehow, some way, Leonard Fournette got an upgrade after his worst performance of the season by far. So we're going to go power just because he's, you know, he's the power back, even though we already know how long he's out. He's out for five weeks. He tells us at the bottom. So that is definitely going to hurt. I mean, losing our top running back for five weeks is definitely going to hurt us, man. Um, I don't think we have a bye until late. We'll look at our um, actual schedule here in a second. Antoine Winfield, he had a great day getting two interceptions. I don't know why he's not getting a dev upgrade opportunity. But hey, um, I guess. <laughs> I know he's hidden, man, but I'm pretty sure he's just star. So 
trying to get the the upgrade opportunity they're just not giving it to us for whatever reason in this game um let's see if anything happened afterwards i don't think so the two injuries ah they're both out for five weeks so vitavea out for five weeks leonard Fournette out for five weeks that is going to hurt that is definitely going to hurt so we want to figure out what we're going to do um with the running back situation and we're going to figure out what we're going to do with their defensive linemen because losing Vitavea, a guy who's almost 350 pounds, a guy that you really can't move, he eats up a lot of those blocks and he still gets after the quarterback at times. Uh, I think he's like second on our team in sacks. Uh, so we go from that 87 to a 72. So a big, big significant drop off on this defensive line, especially for our schedule. We can take, take a look at it now. As you see us going to four and one, but for the next five games, see, we're going to go against the Packers, the um, Raiders, who are, I think they're also 4 and 1, the Giants, who are a good team. We're going to go up against the um, Saints again. And then you got the Panthers. So, I mean, we got some, we got some decent games we have to play against, man. We'll see. Um, those five weeks is going to be, that's going to be pretty big. But next week, man, taking on the Green Bay Packers. Um, my guy, Uncle Sam's Rejects Gaming, man. Um, he's going to be in the next episode. So we got to make sure we still get a win, even though our guys are not going to be playing. Um, not all our guys, but two key guys are not going to be playing. The Packers, they have something to prove, man. They haven't got a win so far this season. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do with the quarterback situation. I think Jordan Love might actually get the start. We'll end up seeing what happens. Um, he has been struggling a little bit with Aaron Rodgers. Um, but we got to figure something out and uh, make sure we keep this momentum going. 4-1, and one, try to keep this lead and, and maintain this lead in the division. That is definitely key, man. But 13 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. A heck of a ratio uh, so far in the season from Tom Brady, man. But that's everything we have for this episode. I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. Get out of here. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Hopefully, hopefully you guys are enjoying the whole series. If you are, please go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.